I figured I can share with you guys a bump update. I am 19 weeks tomorrow as I'm filming this. I'll be 19 weeks. So I'm pretty much at halfway. 20 weeks is halfway. So let me show you guys. I'm very shocked looking at this on camera. Oh my god. Wow, I definitely grew. Welcome back everyone. I know it has been such a long time since I last posted. The last video we posted was our gender reveal, which was like a couple weeks ago, but honestly, I needed this break. I took this last like two weeks to really focus on myself and I'm really glad that I did it because I feel extremely refreshed. I feel ready to start putting out more content and more consistently. As you can see by the title, today I will be doing my pregnancy Q&A. So I did ask you guys weeks ago for questions to answer and I have them right here on my phone. So my plan is kind of to not get into detail about my second trimester because I really do want to do a vlog. What I want to do is kind of focus on first trimester if anything about second trimester comes up i'm just going to leave it for another video so the first question is did you have morning sickness yes i did i had morning sickness every single day for about two months give or take about two months literally i would wake up have about 30 minutes to spare and then i would just be feeling nauseous. I laid in my bed every day because I felt like if I got up, I would just puke. Some tips I do have if you are pregnant one day or if you're currently pregnant, watermelon helped me so much because watermelon is hydrating you at the same time. It was the first thing I would eat in the morning and then see if I can survive the rest of the day. I survived off of noodles, crackers, and watermelon pretty much and peach juice those were all the things i ate every single day because they were the lightest things that wouldn't make me feel like i'm just gonna freaking puke how did i find out the gender so quickly i kind of explained this in my last video in the gender reveal video basically when you're pregnant you are asked if you want to do an nt scan i don't remember the long name for it you guys can google it NT scan and what that is is a scan to like measure your baby's head I believe and this is to test out for any kind of abnormalities and they combined it with a blood test I did that and it came out to be abnormal so because it came back abnormal my doctor sent me for a second blood test which is actually with the special technology this blood test was able to distinguish the mother's blood versus the baby's blood so that's how they're able to test for abnormalities a little more accurately and i'm guessing it's very expensive because it's usually not free unless your doctor orders for it that's how i found out the gender and yes the baby is very low risk for any abnormalities are you doing a birth vlog i actually do plan on doing one i'm gonna try my best um because i don't know how crappy i'm gonna feel and if i'm going to feel crappy at all so i'm going to see how things go but i do want to relive it like i want to be able to see it from an outsider's perspective because obviously i'm gonna be the one in pain and screaming i don't think i'll be focused on filming very much but I'm gonna see if we can like set up a camera. I guess it depends on the hospital if they'll allow it, but I do plan on doing a vlog. How does it feel not drinking for nine months? If you know me, you know I really don't care. Like to be honest with you, if anything is making me sad about a whole nine to 10 months of pregnancy, it's not eating sushi. I can go without drinking for the rest of my life if I really, really wanted to, but sushi i don't think i could being pregnant during covid how is that to be honest i will say it was very easy in the beginning because it gave me a reason to not see people and not have people question me and wonder about me being pregnant no one was suspicious about it whatsoever i missed out on a few like birthday parties i actually told someone that i was on my period once just because i was feeling very moody and tired and all of that so other than that i was able to just get through my whole first trimester without worrying about people being suspicious the first day after me and nick found out we actually went to see two of our friends and they know this now but we've had dinner with them and i was offered wine 
so that was the first time I was like oh crap I just said that I was on antibiotics and you know you can't drink when you're on antibiotics so yeah are you and Nick getting married we will eventually in the future but we don't plan on getting married just because I'm pregnant we already discussed this pretty much right after we talked about it for a while and we just felt like the best decision was that we just let it happen as it happens you know we don't really want to just rush into getting married just because a baby's coming have you thought of any names yet we have the name um we had two names picked out before we found out the gender one for a boy and one for a girl and they were both gender neutral so it worked out either way we were able to use either one and we figured out what the name is going to be i don't know if anything will change but to be quite honest, I'm pretty set on this name. If Nick came to me literally tomorrow telling me, mm, what about this name? I'd be like, no, this is the name, that's it. Are you scared to give birth? Of course I'm scared to give birth. I am 100% scared. Like I have nothing else to say. I'm scared to give birth, but not where I'm thinking about it. I know my body was made to give birth. So... I mean, I was gonna say how bad can it be, but I'm sure it can get really bad. I get asked this a lot, which is what were some cravings that you had? Honestly, first trimester, hardly any cravings because I just felt like I was gonna vomit no matter what. Literally, water would make me sick. The first time I ever really, really, really craved something was probably when I craved Chef Boyardee ravioli. I haven't had that since I was like in elementary school. I don't remember the last time I ate that, but it was just one day I was like, Nick, I'm craving this and I'm not even eating that much, so let me just eat this. I was very well satisfied. I'll like crave something for like a week, maybe two, need to eat it pretty consistently and then I'm over it and I'm craving something new. Will you be doing a natural birth? By natural, I'm assuming this means no epidural. I don't have a plan in terms of if I'm gonna do natural or epidural, but I have a plan to just see how it goes. If it's way too much, I'm gonna take the epidural. I kind of prefer not to do it. Before you think I'm crazy, let me explain. There are some things when it comes to epidural that can be a little risky. You're gonna be drugged up a little more, most likely if you're taking epidural. Basically, more of this, you need more of that, then more of this, then more of that. And I don't know if I wanna be drugged out of my mind. Were there any signs before you took your pregnancy test? There were so many signs. Sometime at the beginning of June, I already had a feeling that I was. I took a test, but it was negative. And I ended up getting my period. But then I still kept getting feelings like I might be. My mom had a dream that she gave birth to twins. So she questioned me about it because, you know, whenever people have like dreams of babies, usually means a baby's coming. My godmother had a dream of my mom holding a brown skinned baby. Are you pregnant? I'm only asking because after my dream of having the twins. So that's as much as I'll show or I'll share. Night before I took the test, I had a dream of me taking a test and it was positive. So I that's why I took the test because I was, I think three or four days late and I'm usually never late. And then the dream happened and Nick and I were like, yeah, let's go get a test. Is this why you quit your job? No. I know a lot of people think that I quit my job because I am pregnant, but I actually did not. I quit my job about maybe 10 days before I even found out. A couple days after I found out was my last day. How did your mom find out the gender for you? After I did the panorama test, which is the one to find out the abnormalities and the gender, they called me, told me the results were in, and then she asked, do you wanna hear, or do you wanna know the gender? I asked her, can you call my mom and let her know? And she called my mom. I love hearing it because it's just the cutest thing. She's having a baby girl. I've already started planning her nursery. The whole theme with her nursery is so cute. I already have things bookmarked, ready to purchase. What were the symptoms you experienced in your first trimester? So you already know morning sickness was one. The other thing was 
sore boobs and you know what that reminds me someone actually did ask on instagram are pregnancy boobs a real thing 100 percent, they are real i'm 100 percent not 34 anymore if you know the number is around your body right no way in hell i'm a 34 anymore i'm definitely at least a 36 i haven't gone and got checked or nothing because they're just gonna keep growing that i don't find any point in getting measured i can survive in a c but like it's starting not to if you're not pregnant and you're complaining about your boobs being sore like you don't even know the half of it some days i'm like i don't think this is right like i don't think this is right i think i'm more scared to breastfeed than i am to give birth now because i heard breastfeeding hurts bad i was so so tired every single day around like nine o'clock ten o'clock i would literally not be able to open my eyes I would sleep for so long. I took one to two naps a day. I was just extremely tired. I'm extremely emotional. I cry probably every day, not about something happening in my life, but I have cried watching shows. Like I'll just tell Nick something that I remember and I'll cry about it. This is the last question, which is best and worst thing about pregnancy. The best thing about pregnancy is knowing my body is changing the way that it does. The fact that I have a placenta that comes out of nowhere because I'm pregnant. It's crazy that I'm taking care of another human being in my body right now. The worst thing is people making comments about your weight. I don't like people commenting on how much I eat, whether it's I eat too much or too little. But people telling me that I look too small for how far I am. I don't know what that's supposed to mean because Everyone's different in their pregnancy. Everyone's bump grows differently. Everyone grows and shows at different rates. That is everything for this video. Thank you guys for sending in your questions on Instagram. I'm going to be posting on there much more. I do want to share more things that are going on. I'm in the process of furniture shopping and things like that. So that's exciting. If you guys want me to share that whole journey with you that's a whole nother thing on its own so let me know but don't forget to like comment and subscribe so you don't miss another video and i'll see you in the next one